Guess what, folks? Today, we making America's favorite dessert. And guess what? We finna make it on the go. Let's get it. We making peach cobbler egg rolls. Now listen, you guys can look down here. You guys can probably see that it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So listen, the main thing I want to show you is the lack of a lot of ingredients. This is the same way that we make a peach cobbler. Only thing that's missing is the brown sugar. And I want to tell you this part right here. Don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W-I-T ab.com now if you guys come over here look i'm doing it obviously in a dutch oven i'm using my little spider right here because this is what we're going to take the egg rolls out in right so we'll do them like that i got oil in here but how are we going to come up with the temp listen you guys if you have a candy thermometer these are perfect look you can see it's built to be on the pot right you sit you clip it here drop it down in there and this will get you your temperature or you can use this you can use one of these meat thermometers right either or i have both i use these for my meat and then when I don't, you know, when I'm lazy or something like that, you know, when I'm cooking, I just go ahead and just use this to check my oil. Oil temperature is going to be key here because we want to do 350 degrees. All right, so what I did was I removed my Dutch oven because that's got my oil in it, right? I actually put it there on the stove. I'm going to start bringing that up to temp very slowly because obviously I'm going to be cooking right here on my porter stove, right? So I do this for you guys so it makes it much easier when making these videos just to see, right? So I got my pot. I got one pound of fresh peat, I mean frozen peaches. This right here is uh, okay. This is cool. I was, you know, for me, I usually buy these and keep a couple of these. So when I want these on the go, they're easy to make and I got all of the ingredients. Your salmon, your nutmeg, your vanilla extract, cornstarch, butter, stuff like that, you're probably gonna have. Only thing you probably have to grab from the store would be your, uh, your egg roll wrappers. Now these come in one pound bags and that's exactly what you're gonna need, right? Now these are frozen. I'm gonna pour this in here like that, look. You can see this is a big piece right here. Well, this is actually two pieces kind of like stuck together. They all come loose, but this is how they come. Full of peach juice, ready to go, right? Now, one of these things, one thing I love about this recipe, and if you guys have been following me, you've been seeing how I do all of my uh, my peach cobblers. You know, there's really like a dump and go, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring some fire into here. I start with like a medium heat, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter. All right, so now I'm getting ready to come with my cinnamon, right? I just sprinkle a little bit in here, like just like this. I like to measure all of this, you know what I mean? Uh, just to get it halfway in the ballpark. I'm not taking a knife and coming over the top. If it's heaping, that's okay. Now we're gonna add our sugar. And the last thing we're gonna add is our vanilla extract. Now I said that, listen, it's not about the last. This is really a dump and grow, go. So you guys put everything in there how you see fit. You know what I mean? We're gonna hold up on the cornstarch. Let me go ahead and get my little spatula. And as it cooks down, it's gonna render, you know, this juice. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that peach cobbler filling that we all have grown to love. Let's get that butter down there on the bottom so it can start to melt, right? So we're gonna let it do its work. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and address this part right here. Again, it's obvious I used a bag of frozen peaches, right? So when you're using frozen peaches, that's perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, I'm doing it. You guys can use fresh peaches, but that's a process to boil, to peel, to cut. You know, you have to pit it, all of that, right? And then you can use the can. The can is lovely, too. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you're going to use the can, you want to drain it. I mean, it's okay that the little juice is going to get in there. You know what I mean? So that's when we thicken it up, right? But I'm going to work this down just so I can show you this is going to look just like fresh or canned peaches anyway. Now, if you want to, oh, I forgot to tell you this. If you would like, you can do, you can dice these down, it depends. But looking at the size of this one right here, like maybe just one or two. You know what I mean? Look at that right there. Maybe just one or two inside of there, but we'll see. Maybe I can get three inside of them. You know what I mean? But you guys will check it out. Now, when will it be ready, right? Once the butter is melted, you know what I mean? And then you start to come up to a boil. Look at this right here. You see that? Look, that's what we want to look at right there, right? Now you want to, trust me, that has already melted the peaches, warmed them up, and they're ready to go, right? Now I'm going to come in here with a half a teaspoon of cornstarch, and it's going to be key that I hurry up and start, you know, going, you know, it'll be key that I start to stir. This right here is going to thicken it up, right? You don't want to have it so thin that you can't put it on a wrapper because you want to get that feeling in there too, right? And you want it to be hot. Right, so I just keep moving this around here. If you guys want to make a slurry, you can, but just a half a teaspoon, or maybe you might need just a little bit more, right? And then you want to cook it, you don't want to taste it. 
And you remember we put them in there frozen? Only thing we had was butter, but that's all of the peach juice that came out of them being frozen. And this is what we have. Now, if you come out of the can, you're going to have the exact same thing. So look at it now. Look. Oh, yeah. This is what you want to have. If you want it to be a little thicker, you can always add yourself another half a teaspoon of that cornstarch. You know what I mean? But this right here is it. I'm going to turn my fire off. It's going to continue to thicken just a little bit more. You know what I mean? Uh, this is it. Now, this is going to have to cool, folks. Right? Because you're not going to be able to touch this with your hand and put this, you know, try to roll something up. Right? So, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to transfer this over to my stove. So, you know, I brought my, my pot back over here, put it on top of my burner, right? So what we're doing now is we're bringing this up to 350. In just a second, I got some heat on here. I just checked it with my meat thermometer to see where we at. I'm getting ready to insert this. I'm gonna show you guys all of that. And uh, these right here is cool, man. These only like $10, $12, you know what I mean? Must haves, you know what I mean? And listen, very impressive when somebody see you doing it like that. This right here ensures that you have success when you're making it, right? And I got my egg roll, so I'm gonna get ready to start pulling these egg roll wrappers out, and uh, we finna go from there. You know what, I wanna show you guys something. Now you see I got two thermometers in here, right? Listen, this was the original one that I put in here, but when I was looking at it, you guys can see, I hopefully the camera's picking it up, there's a gap and I see a dot of red. Something didn't happen to this, maybe it's been laying on the, you know, been in the drawer too long or something like that. So I do have a couple, obviously I stuck this one in here and I'm looking at it, that one has the right temperature. I verified it with this right here. You know what I mean? So this one here, I'm gonna take this one out and throw this in the trash. I don't know why it is not uh, not working properly. I guess some kind of way to that separation or something like that, that's not right. And it quit rising. Now, as I let this cool, now I'm able to like work with it, right? And remember I told you it thickens up too? Let me just do this. I don't know, let me try to get some of this feeling. Look at that right there. When you see it like this, this is gonna be fine. Cause when you put it on the wrapper, you don't want it to be running around everywhere, right? So. This is cool. Now we can touch it. I'm gonna set this here. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and you know start doing our egg rolls. All right, so this part right here, real simple, folks. So let me go ahead and separate one. All right? Look, this is gonna be the key. Set it up where it's at a diamond shape, right? So listen, in other words, you want that point facing yourself. Let me go ahead and get myself a tablespoon. All right? Now I'm just going to insert this right here. Remember we talked about the thickness, right? This is what I'm talking about. Look at the thickness there. Nothing running all over it, right? Yeah, that's it right there. Right? Now, I'm just going to push this down, get this like this. Just spread it out just a little bit, right? I know y'all miles is watering already. We're going to take this. Right? And before I move on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little candy dish. Right here, and I'm gonna fill it up with some cold water. We put that there. Now, I'm gonna take my wrapper, bring this here, kind of like get it to tighten up a little bit. I'm gonna take it, I like to bring it over the top like this and then kind of like just pull it down, right? But you wanna have everything tucked in, right? The first one always comes out a little crazy, but then we are gonna go ahead and just roll it, just like you guys see. Then when we get towards the end, we are gonna take our finger, run this around this edge. Actually, you can run it around the whole thing, right? And then we just take it and roll it like that. And there you have it, folks. All right, you guys can see that all of these are completely wrapped, right? I went ahead and exchanged out my spider. Look, I like this one, it's a little bit bigger, you know? So if you would look at my temperature right here, let's see. I'm coming up on 360 degrees. This is what you want, even 365. You know why? Because once we put them in, inside of the, once we put our egg rolls inside, what it does is it brings the temperature down, right? So I'm gonna take these three. I'm gonna go ahead and use this to insert them. Now, I want you guys to look at this right here. These right here be the money shots. All right, so look, you see that right there? Look at that color. They kind of like browns a little bit either, even what, after we take them out and put them on this rack, but I'm gonna take them, put them right here, and look at those right here. Now I'm gonna grab these, bring these over here to them. They don't take long, folks. You just go in there and crisp them up, put a little color on them, and that's what you have. All right, if you guys pay attention to my, to my thermometer, look, 
it kind of like drop down and it rises back up. I make my adjustments. That's what I like about having, you know, one of these thermometers. And then you'll notice once these start to brown, you know what I mean, to the color that you're looking for, they ready and they start to float, folks. That's the telltale sign. So this right here is just nothing but cinnamon and white sugar. You know what I mean, just to sprinkle it. I got one for you. You know what, I never even thought about it, but listen, if you guys like the McDonald apple pie, then this is kind of like the same thing. Got the crispy exterior, you know what I mean? We hit it with a little bit of this, ooh wee, that cinnamon and sugar. We got the peach cobbler filling in the inside. Listen, there ain't nothing else to, uh, left to do, but to go ahead, hopefully this is cool enough, and we finna eat this, folks. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Come here. Look at that right there. Get that money, baby. Yes, sir. Well, folks, hey, it's hard to even say, do I like the regular peach cobbler pie version that I make that we all have grown to love, or do I like them in these bites, right? Again, you guys can look in the inside right here. You know what I mean? They like super crunchy. Hey, this is what you guys be wanting. So I say, you guys try this. Let your audience, meaning anybody that tastes these, let them tell you what they like. Now, with that being said, listen, don't forget, this ingredient list and the full printable recipe is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com. And don't forget, that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Off the camera, I already got a cold glass of uh, ice cold milk, and I got a scoop of ice cream waiting on me. And I'm out, folks. Peace.